Mad Alliance was howling as Joe, aka Mad Joe of C. This is going to be my reaction interview for season two, episode nine of Attack on Titan. Let's get it. Freaking traitors. いや。見ろよ。私もこの通りだ。お互い今日は辛い日だな。ユミル。なんで俺の腕が念だ。それあずま、俺がやったんだ。なんせ急いでいたからな。慌てて同じに噛みついたら、お前の両腕をないがしろ
ライナー君は兵士じゃないだろう僕らは戦士なんだからなんとなくだが分かった気がするぞおかしいと思ったよ壁を破壊したやつが命がけでコニーを助けたりなんてな自分が矛盾したことやってんのに無自覚だったんだよなんでそんなことになったのか知らんがおそらく本来は壁の破壊を目的とする戦士だったが兵士を演じて生活するうちにどちらが本来の自分かわからなくなった That's what I was gonna say. It seems like his mind's kind of bipolar. もしくは罪の意識に耐えられず心の均衡を保つために無意識に自分は壁を守る兵士の一人だと逃避しそう思い込むようになったんだその結果心が分裂し記憶の改ざん、yeah. 話が噛み合わなくなることが多々あったって様子だなベルトルさんの呆れ顔を見るに話したよなお前らの目の前で俺の母さんが食われた時の話をやめろしたよなお前が蹴り破った扉の破片が俺の家に直撃したから母さんは逃げらんなかったんだって知ってんだろ話したもんなどう思ったあの時どう思ったんだ時は気の毒だと思ったよただの人殺しだ何の罪もない人たちを大勢殺した大量殺人鬼だそんなことを分かってんだよお前にわざわざ教えてもらわなくてもなじゃあ一応前に人らしく悩んだりしてんじゃねえよもう人間じゃねえんだぞお前らこの世界を地獄に変えたのはお前らなんだぞ分かってんのか人殺しがその人殺しに何を求めてんだよお前は反省してほしいのか謝ってほしいのかそれでお前は満足かよもうお前が知る俺らはいねえんだぞ泣きわめいて気が済むならそのままわめき続けてろ俺は頑張るしかねえ頑張ってお前らができるだけ苦しんで死ぬように努力するよ。そうじゃねえだろ。I could, you could tell just by the look on her face, that's what she was saying. She was like, そんなガキみたいなこと言ってるようじゃ<笑>期待できねえよ。ああ。エル、あの二人をやっつけて終わりだと思ってんのなら、それは大きな勘違いだ。敵はなんだ敵そりゃ言っちまえばさユミルお前はこの世界に先があると思うのかそこまで分かってんだが身の振り方考えろお前次第ではこっち側に来ることも考えられるだろう信用しろって無理だなそっちは私を信用できないいや信用できるお前の目的はクリスタを守ることだろうそれだけに関して、so has... 死んだら死ぬ、so right、冗談言ってるように見えるかもしれんがクリスタだけは何とかしたいという思いを俺たちが受け入れられないと思うかそれとも俺たちよりもエレンの力の方が頼りになるのか<笑> Don't switch her over like that. 自分のわずかな命かクリスタの未来が選ぶのはお前だおいおい言えよ敵の正体はユミルさあな<笑>決まりだ<笑>残念だったなエレン調査兵団がもう close. They're getting close. くそ
ユミルのやつここへ来てあと1時間もすれば日没だ So not too much really went on this episode. It was just kind of a lot of talking, but there were definitely some revelations. So really in this review, I just want to talk about the characters only. I want to talk about Rainer, uh, the other dude, I still can't get his name down, Ymir and Aaron. Uh, first, I guess I'll talk about Aaron because of something that Ymir said. She has said like, um, and what she said, you know, I was like, well, yeah, okay. I guess I can understand, uh, why you're saying that. Cause I could kind of see it in Aaron a little bit. It was when she was talking about if you're just going to be childish like this, why should I have any hope in you? Um, you know, and Aaron was like, uh, I'm going to stop in nothing till I kill all of y'all. I was like, yeah, yeah, go ahead, Aaron. But then, after what Ymir said, I was like, well, yeah, she has a point. But think about this as well. He's like 15, 15, 16, and he's, he's been to war with these Titans. He's, you know, had to go through military type training. So, and he, he lost his mom, you know. So he's been, for a 15, 16 year old kid, he's been through things that most 15, 16 year old kids have not been through. So I can kind of understand why he has some of the mannerisms he does, why he might seem childish. He's been through a lot and there's a lot that he doesn't know. And also he's just found out that one of his good friends is a traitor and he's acting like the victim. I still barely know a thing about Ymir. I don't know how she's able to turn into a Titan. I don't know what her goal is. And she, so seemingly, she's now, well, she's just like, okay, well, screw you, Aaron, because of how he was acting. And now, um, and also because of uh, what Reiner had said, you want to, I was right. I was saying that in the beginning, but then, uh, and I should have known that Ymir really would probably want to protect uh, history a little bit because Ymir kind of just played it off as if, you know, she didn't really care too much about her. But the way that Ymir would talk to Historia, you could tell that she wanted good things for her, you know? So, yeah, that that pretty much, at the end of the day, I was right at the beginning. Uh, Ymir did want to protect Historia, and because Rainer said that he can pretty much guarantee that if she joins them, and that uh, he could learn to trust her, she ended up joining them, so I don't know what's going to happen from here, because we just saw... Uh, them still in the forest and the scouts were on their way so I don't, I don't know what's going to happen from there and Rainer I, I was confused just like Aaron I was he was saying all this it, it was sounding crazy and I was thinking bipolar which is pretty much kind of right but uh, that's in the earlier episodes when the other dude would be telling Reiner, um, you're not a soldier, you're a warrior. That's what he meant. He's not a soldier meant to protect the people from the Titans. He's a warrior meant to break down these walls. So, uh, yeah, that's what the dude meant. And Reiner, just, you know, destroying the wall, killing all these innocent people. Then at the same time, he's, you know... A soldier trying to be a soldier to kind of cope with what he's done all the things he's done his armor titan you know killing all these innocent people and so being a soldier is kind of a way to cope with that but now it's just getting a little bit too much for me he, it's like split personalities he he doesn't know 
what he's saying at times. And I liked Reiner too. You guys know it. You guys, especially after what he did to Female Titan, even though what he really did was, you know, give her a message. But you guys know I was really liking Griner. He was, a, he, he was, I thought he was a G, but now it's the same thing with, I mean, I would say it's the same thing with Ani, but okay. At the same time, while I think Griner is definitely wrong for everything he's done as Armor Titan, he still feels genuinely bad about it too, though, which is kind of what I don't understand. And another thing I don't understand is what can be so important that it means the extinction of all humanity? What can be that important for Rainer and Colossal Titan? It's like sometimes there is no good and bad in this show or antagonists and protagonists it's, it's just a lot it's just a lot of gray area especially um with Reiner because it seems that him and the other dude they're kind of contradicted over the right thing that they should be doing especially Reiner more than uh the other dude Reiner is definitely harder for him to you know deal with all of this uh yeah not no action happened but some revelations happened for sure but we still don't know what why Mir's goal is we don't know what the deal with Kingfoot is we don't know um we don't even know why well yeah we, we did figure that out uh I was gonna say we don't know why uh Hysteria was uh being monitored and stuff but yeah I remember we figured that out uh uh and we still don't know who Reiner and the other dude are working for and why they're doing what they're doing as the Colossal and Armored Titan. So hopefully we got some revelations in this episode, but I hope we get, we get some more of the plot soon so that I can start understanding some of this stuff. Because right now I'm just... Pretty much just like Aaron, out of the blue. I feel just like Aaron right now. I'm, I'm out of the blue, knowing nothing on all of this. Uh, this is my reaction interview for Season 2, Episode 9 of Attack on Titan. If y'all enjoyed my video, let me know what you thought. Links are all on my social media will be down below in the description box. Matt, smash the like button. Share this video with anyone you feel enjoy. If you are new around here and you like what you see, tap the subscribe button and ding down the notification bell to join the MAD Alliance on our journey to 100,000 subscribers. My name's Joe, a.k.a. Mad Joe C. Hope you all from Marvel's Day. Mad out. Mad. Strong. Together.